please, I'm being held captive. This is man and he's, he's holding me prisoner. Please, I need to get away. What are you doing? What did you do? She would have been a loose end. No loose ends. Dad had so many paintings. <sighs> yeah. There was so much he wanted to do right up to the end. He talked about coming up here and finishing everything. Look at this view. It's amazing. He's been here before plenty of times. Yeah, but well, since I was a tiny little kid. Mm -hmm. Those were good summers. It's like something out of a dream. Mm -hmm. I can't blame your dad for turning it into his painting studio. I mean, it's such a beautiful place. Yeah. Uh, Amara? That's terrific. <laughs> Thank you so much. I just won the auction for the brick building downtown. You can check it out first thing in the morning. That's really cool. Is it me? Yeah. I remember him talking about that one. <laughs> He'd done a thousand little sketches of you, but he never put you in a painting before. He was so nervous about it. My textbook for AP Chemistry. Cool. Uh, name? Amara. Amara Caldwell. 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 Sorry, I, I, I just don't see you on here. Um, could be under a different name. I don't think so. But I just moved to the area. I enrolled late, like a couple weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So the textbooks were ordered way before that. So what does that mean? Well, it means officially, or technically, you're not on the list to get your book? So I guess I just can't do my homework and I'll fail out of school and live under a bridge and beg for scraps of food? Well, you know, that's always a possibility. So we can... Hold on a second. Miss Peters. Yeah? We have a student who enrolled late and the school didn't order her book in time. Oh, oh well, we, you know, we only get a certain number of books. I'm afraid she's going to have to talk to the administration. Right, but I was thinking that since we, you know, we did order a book for Lacey, and since Lacey you know, won't be needing it, I thought, um, 
Maybe we can give it to Amar here. Unless you think she's trying to you know, con us out of a chemistry textbook. <laughs> no. That's fine. Yeah, go ahead. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. So where'd you move here from? Downtown, in the city. I used to visit here a lot, but I haven't been back in a while. Well, welcome back. It's a really cool bracelet. Thanks. My dad gave it to me. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the way that you were. Keep the line moving, please. We'll talk later. Guess we will. Thank you. Handwriting it's so bad. Oh my god, full cool jacket. So... Thanks. She's perfect. We need someone totally unbiased. Hey, new girl. Consider a question for us. Okay. What sounds like a cooler idea for a dance? Bon voyage, like you're about to travel across the ocean on a cruise vacation. Or welcome home, like you're returning and your friends are there to celebrate. Well, if you're talking about the homecoming dance, I guess it makes more sense to be coming home, not going away. Mm -hmm. Told you so. Call me, girl. Whatever. Fun voyage is a great idea. Yeah, for prom or graduation, not for homecoming. But it's like bon voyage. You're about to embark on a magical school year. Do you know how incredibly lame you sound? You can go now. Oh my god. I can't yeah. with you. I can't, you can't with you. Me? No, okay. I can't with you. Okay. This is ours. Yeah. The previous owners stopped paying their bills, so the bank got everything, and now everything's ours. Weird. So this weekend, we're gonna have a big yard sale. Turn this place into the most beautiful art gallery in the city. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if someone tries to bargain with you, sell stuff for as cheap as you want. I just want to get rid of it all. Okay. Mrs. Caldwell? Yeah. I own the restaurant right around the corner. Carducci's? Oh, nice to meet you. Paul. Diane. We share a dumpster and a parking lot. This sale isn't gonna be a problem, is it? Oh, no, no, there's no problem. I just wanted to come over and wish you luck. You're new to the area? Uh, my husband grew up here. My late husband. But now my daughter and I moved in his old studio. He was an artist? Yeah, that's why I'm opening a gallery. Partly because I have about a million of his paintings, but also I used to be an art dealer before I had him on. Well, that's great. You know, the art scene here is really thriving. Yeah, we'll have reached out to some artists, um, but hopefully it'll be up and running by the end of the month. Yeah. Oh. I meant to grab business cards. Just wait there, I'll grab you one. How much is this one? That one's 30 bucks. Are you serious? This is a uh, Japanese steel. This is a $150 knife. You can pay more if you want. Tell you what, I'll sell you everything on this table for $1 million. I'm sorry, I guess I care too much about this stuff. Hearing is good. Hey, is anyone up there? Open up! The door's locked! Ah! Oh my god. Anyway, 
Funny story, actually. I'm going to... Mom! Mom! Wait, 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 four people on the homecoming committee, but after what happened to Lacey, we need a fourth. What happened to Lacey? A tragic loss. But the show must go on. And since you're, like, obviously not an idiot and uh, don't seem to have an agenda, we thought you might be a good candidate for, you know, um, if you're interested, maybe assisting a little bit or um you know would like... you be interested in joining home company sure I mean, what's involved it's super easy we plan the dance decorate for it uh get a dj and a lighting guy and make sure it's fun yeah that sounds cool who's the fourth uh huh you said there was four people you two me oh my boyfriend that's the best part he's like a total boy scout and super easy to manipulate he does pretty much whatever I want, so I'll make him do all the hard stuff and we can party. What do I have to do? Well, you usually spend most of your time in the library alone uh, studying. So you could spend most of that time um, hanging out with us. Come on. Sweetie, I just wanted to let you know I'm finally on my way home. Are you okay for dinner? Okay, great. See you soon. treatment and they slashed my tire and smashed the window. Oh, well, that's a lousy end of the day. Yeah. Hey, Hank's auto body is just a couple miles up the road. Let's get you towed. I can give you a ride home. It's okay. I can handle it. I insist. Okay. Time is running out. Now that we're going with a simple welcome home theme, we just need, like, a color scheme and some good ideas for decorating the gym. Well, what about lighting, DJ, and the rest of the planning? I'm having my boyfriend do all of that. If there's anything we don't like, I'll just make him change it. So, are you seeing anyone? Me? Like, dating someone? 
Yeah, like a day for homecoming. Um, I've never dated anybody. Seriously? I knew it. I just got here. It's not like I know a ton of people. But like, is there someone you're interested in? Kinda. I don't know, just this guy in that first day of school. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Come on, tell us everything. What is it? Hey, baby. You're so cute in your new shirt. Amara, this is my boyfriend, Jake. Hi. Hello. You were just in time for some juicy gossip. Amara here was about to tell us all about the guy she has a crush on. Uh, you know what? I, I should probably go. I didn't realize how late it was, and my mom wants me home for dinner, so. Oh, OK. I'll see you guys later. OK. See ya. See ya. Bye. down of what's going on um we usually have the dj set up right around here hey. <laughs> <laughs> looking good thanks what about me you're looking hot that's what i like to hear mm, do you guys show amara how we do the front entrance not yet. We're about to go over decoration ideas. Here, I'll show you so you get a good idea of how the dance is laid out. Cool. Yeah. Is it just me, or is New Girl totally trying to get with my boyfriend? I'm on it. I have a plan for what we can do with cute little Amara. Yeah, so that way there's less of like a bottleneck when people are coming into the dance. And plus, a lot of people just like to hang around and not really dance. Yeah. yeah. Do you dance? When I'm having a good time, yes. But if you made me dance right now, I'd probably think I'm some kind of malfunctioning robot. <laughs> yeah, same here. I'm actually probably more embarrassing when I'm having a good time. Yeah. Check it out. Follow the link. I signed you up for Swipe to Date. The dating app? Yeah, already paid for a premium membership, got you an account, and all you need is a few more picks. Sexy, but not thirsty. Looking for a quality guy who wants to make my days a little brighter. I'm artistic, curious, and new to dating. Let's go to a good restaurant or check out the mountains. That's a good profile. Do you think so? Um, yeah. She sounds really dateable. I don't know about this. Don't you have to be 18? As far as that knows, you are 18. Plus, I got you a rideshare account, so you could go wherever you want with whoever you want. Thanks. Look, you don't have to have a date, but trust me, homecoming is a lot better with a partner. So who are you going with? I don't know. My older brother has a lot of hot friends. So I'll probably go with one of them. But you need options. Do you think it'll work? You're sexy. I bet you can get any guy you want. Before you got creepy. Bye bye. Tim. What? Nothing. Hello again, Shane. I'll make a deal with you. Huh? Tear yourself away from your phone 
and I'll take us for some gelato. Wait, what? You, me, gelato, now. Uh-uh, no phone. Is Dad romantic with you? Romantic, like roses and love poetry. Yeah. I remember one time I told him about a dream I'd had, and he painted it for me. He always made me feel special. <laughs> mm. I mean, you can't rush it. I wasn't looking for love when I found your father. Um, he was almost 15 years older than me. You'd think you'd given up on love, but my phone mm. is gone. Are you sure? Yeah, I left it right here. It's gone. So is my backpack. The door is open. What do we do? Thank you, officer. Yeah. I'll be waiting. Okay. I can't promise anything, but it's possible that one of my security cameras got someone coming or going from your parking lot. Let me just back it up 20 minutes or so here. There. That's him. That's the guy who attacked me. Okay. Let me make a copy of this recording for the police. I definitely need better security. You know, I've got a friend who's a private investigator. Might be able to give you some more options. No. Thanks, but I'll, I'll wait and see what the police have to say. Uh, hey, before you go, um, I was wondering if the two of you would be interested in coming over for dinner tomorrow night. On the house, of course. I just figured, you know, it's the least I could do given your rocky start. Good deal. Amara? Whatever. We'd like that. All right. Okay. I'll see you then. Yeah. Weird that your mom's place got vandalized. Everything is usually pretty safe around here. Safe? Yeah. Safe and boring. <laughs> but what about Lacey? What about her? What's the real story? Why does anybody want to talk about it? Talking about it won't bring her back. Yeah, but how'd she disappear? Is it an accident, murder, suicide? Look, if anyone was ever going to get mixed up into something bad, it was Lacey. What does that mean? She took a lot of risks. Probably pissed off the wrong guy. She was your friend, right? I mean, not really. You were on homecoming committee together. Yeah, last year. That was a million lifetimes ago. I don't know what she was doing over this summer. Just forget about it, OK? You didn't even know Lacey. Sorry. You look fabulous. So, Paul and I went shopping earlier. That's the latest generation. <laughs> Best one they make. The family plan's still good, so all you need to do is activate it. Amara, what do you say? Thank him for the new phone. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Seriously, this is a lifesaver. You're welcome. Use responsibly. Mm. So I think the gallery will speak for itself. You know, the tough part is getting people to know it exists. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about that. Mm -hmm. What about cross-promotion? What if I put a display from your gallery here in the restaurant? 
And I can direct people to you. Yeah, yeah. What if we could pass out each other's business cards or coupons or something. Mm. I mean, it only makes sense. We're right around the corner from each other. It's a win-win. Totally. I like that. Okay, so mm -hmm. just south of the Rio Grande, there's a small border town on the Mexico side. Uh -huh. Tiny town. Mm -hmm. This town is famous because it floods. They have a dam just north of the town mm -hmm. and it floods every year. Right. But occasionally with big storms, they have bad floods. I mean, like, bury the town, bad floods. There's one church and one priest. So this time, the rains came heavy and the whole town knew that a flood was coming. So the whole town picks up, starts to pack up, and leaves, right? The whole town's gone. One guy goes, Back at the mission, the father, the priest, we have to go get him. So they turn around, they take their truck, and go back. And the rain is coming down, and it's dangerous, and they have to go back. They did it, they went in, all right? Yeah. So they get to the church, the door's always open. Ah, they, go in, they go inside, Father, come with us, the rain is coming, it's gonna flood, you know it's gonna flood, you have to come with us. And he's like, No, no, I'm gonna stay. And he said, The Lord will be Oh. And so they're like, oh, Okay. Yeah. Not me, I'm going. So, so they're gone, right? Yeah. So the storm gets worse. And these, these people have made it, they're okay. But they're going to the church. So they get a boat and they go back to the church and they go find him. And he's in the church, but he's okay. Wow, this looks so good. Smart and steady. That's the right way to run a business. He's got a great outlook on things, don't you think? I just admire someone who can make a go of it like that. I met a guy, too. Oh, yeah? Someone from school? No. The cute guy from the art sale? It's kind of like fate. I found his profile up front. The dating app? Amara, you're too young for that. Not till you're 18. It's just a way of meeting people. I need a date for the dance. I'm on homecoming committee. That means if I go to homecoming without a date, I'm like the lamest person in the world. Everybody says so. What do you mean, everybody says so? Whatever, you don't care. I do care. Listen, I want you to have a great social life. But when it comes to dating, maybe take it slow, settle into your new school first. Not up to you. What? Not up to you. Definitely flirting. It's gross. Everything she does is so desperate. I hate how sweet and innocent she acts. Think about it. Since she's been here, all she's done is drool over Jake, brag about her dead dad, and ask questions about Lacey. She's up to something. Hey, Amara's got some really good ideas about the lighting. Oh, does she? Yeah. It's exciting. Hopefully this is going to be the best dance yet. Well, thanks to you guys. All right. Got to go. Headed to practice. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, Amara. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what's up? You're off homecoming committee. Effective immediately. What? Why? Uh, because two of us fade you off. Get lost tomorrow. What about the dance? Honestly, it would probably be better if you didn't even come to the dance at all. And stay away from Jake. It's better this way. Hey. Hey. Uh, that's you. Thank you. Saw the camera up front. Yeah, uh, one aimed at the parking lot, and there's three more inside. I'm just taking a look at some of the footage. All right. Oh. Looks 
Looks like we got a little something. Yeah, there he is. Creeping around. Well, at least I've got something more to show the cops. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. How was school? Fine. Getting excited about homecoming? I guess. Whatever. She's on the homecoming committee. It's kind of a big deal. <laughs> Did you find a date? Maybe. There's a guy that's flirting with me, but he's not sure if he can go. Flirting, huh? Like flirting with dirty texts? Oh, um, no. Ew. Just texting, talking. He seems cool. Okay, well, if you want to meet him, I want to meet him too. I gotta take this. Shane? Hey, I got all of your texts. Hell of a day, huh? I don't know why they hate me so much. I thought homecoming committee was going really well, but it's like they were being nice to me just so they could set me up. Are you still going to the dance? Are you kidding? Becky and Heather will probably murder me. Sad part is I was actually excited to go. I thought we might finally get to be together. You're more grown up than some silly school dance anyways. Come out on a date with me. Like a date date? I don't think my mom will let me. So just tell her you're going to the dance. Come on, we can go someplace fancy and be king and queen for the night. Like where? How about that fancy French restaurant down by the river, um, Lafayette Cafe? Are you kidding? Look, sooner or later we gotta meet and I'm dying to see you. Why don't you let me treat you to a really special evening? I don't know. I'll see you in front of the restaurant at 7 o'clock. Okay. Great. We're gonna have some fun tomorrow. I'll see you soon. Amara, you look incredible. Yeah, <laughs> I feel kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I guess I'm just supposed to pretend like I know how to walk in heels. Trust me, when it comes to high heels, everyone's faking it. Hold on, I, I gotta get up. Okay. <laughs> so, are you gonna meet up with a guy at the dance? Maybe, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with Becky and Heather and dance, hang out a little bit. I thought Becky was picking you up. Oh, I told you, I got a ride share. It's no big deal. Okay, have an amazing time. I will. I'm gonna wait out for you. Okay, love you. Love you. Shall we get dinner? With the uh, vegetables on the side. Let's see. Can I get the 99 Beaujolais, please? Thank you. Thank you. So, full disclosure, I am not actually 19 years old. I'm 23. When I joined the app, I filled out my profile wrong, and now it won't let me go back and change it. Oh, so you're not a college freshman? Actually, I was never a college freshman. I joined the Army right out of high school, traveled the world, and now I'm back home waiting for my next chapter. A lot like being 18 again. Um, I should probably come clean. I'm not 18. I'm 16. I'm a sophomore, not a senior. I thought you were about to say you were like my age. You seem so sophisticated. Really? Yeah. Thanks. So I guess our age difference is kind of weird. What do you think we should do about it? I think we should worry about that after dessert. I'm really enjoying your company. No, it's true. Um, he was a cop for over 30 years. Now he's retired. Lives in Florida and wishes me Merry Christmas on Facebook every year. But other than that, I haven't talked to him in years. What about you? What did your dad do? Uh, he was an artist, mm. a painter. Your last name's Caldwell. Is your dad Ellis Caldwell? You're making fun of me. 
You don't really know who my dad is. No, no. Was. Of course I do. Your dad's landscapes are pretty famous around here. I grew up hunting and fishing in these mountains, and whenever I see one of his paintings, it reminds me of my childhood. Me too. So do you know what you want to do with the next chapter of your life? Yeah, of course, that's easy. What? Fall in love. Do you remember the day? <laughs> oh, hey, how was the dance last night? Fine, it was fun, I guess. That's all you're gonna say? Come on, gotta be some juicy stories. Well, there is one story, but I think it's supposed to be a secret. Oh, yeah? Well, I can keep a secret. So after the dance, I saw this really horny guy making out with this really horny girl, and then I realized she was my mom. Amara, that's not funny. Yeah, that was hilarious to see you suck face with a brush truck. You know his name's Paul, and I thought you liked him. He's fine, but the fact that you're already halfway in bed with him is a little weird. Sweetie, your father has been gone for almost two years now. And it's been a long and painful process. But I deserve some happiness, and I deserve someone to kiss me. And... Mom, you. You know I loved your father. And you know he wanted me to have a future. What about my future? Don't I deserve to date someone fun? Sweetie, I wish you would slow down. Slow down? You're such a hypocrite. How do you know you can even trust him? So far, Paul's been very good to me, but trust is not something I know. It's something I'm finding out. Well, I guess I'll just make sure that nobody ever touches me. And you can just let me know when you've officially replaced Dad. This Paul guy is like right around the corner from her, but you're all the way across town from me. It's not fair. I wish you were closer. Yeah, me too. Amara, I need to see you. You're all I think about. It's it's like we've known each other forever and we know how to make each other happy. I agree. I didn't know it could feel like this. I should probably get to class. It started like 10 minutes ago. Come see me tonight. I have to help my mom organize my dad's paintings. Just tell her you're out with Becky. I really shouldn't. Do it, Mara, please. I need to see you, and I know you need to see me. All right. You look gorgeous. Is this where you wanted to go? Yeah, it's a fun place. It's a bar. I don't know if you forgot, but I'm way underage. Oh, don't worry about that. This place is cool. And besides, I got you something. Fake ID? That's as real as you want it to be. Come on.
we met before we matched. Do you remember? I bought a knife from you in front of the store. You were the most beautiful girl I had ever seen. Why'd you disappear? You ran off. I guess I figured I'd said something stupid. Besides, I haven't had a lot of luck with the ladies, and you can be pretty scary. Scary? It would be easy to fall in love with you. I gotta go. Care to explain this? Where did you get this? Did Becky or Heather get this for you? Shane got it for me, because he treats me like an adult. Shane? Who is Shane? Guy I met online. I told you about him, but you didn't want to hear it. So this guy, this older guy, takes you out and gets you drunk, and you think he respects you? I wasn't like that. We had fun. Hey, he listens and takes care of me. You're smarter than that, Amara. And you're way too young to be sneaking into bars. There. The age of consent here is 16. That means I'm an adult. That's not how it works. Who is this guy? What's his full name? Shane McCoy. He's a good guy. He's smart, fan of Dad's work, and he's from around here. You don't have to freak out. You are five years away from stepping foot in a bar. Do you understand? I trust you, and you go running off and do something you know is reckless and stupid, and it's dangerous. So now I'm stupid. I, I didn't say that, Amara. Amara. Break it off with Shane immediately, and please just focus on your schoolwork. I'm getting old age. Then try spending more time with friends your own age. Get a clue, Mom. You have no idea what you're talking about. What's wrong? Didn't you say you knew a guy? Um, a private investigator? Yeah. Diane, this is Leo. Leo, Diane. I'm sorry to make your acquaintance under these circumstances. We better sit down. Shane McCoy is actually Shane Barrow. Age 29, he's got an extensive record. Miss Caldwell, I'm gonna be blunt. And this is a worst case scenario. He was incarcerated as a juvenile. At age 18, he was dishonorably discharged from the army over an incident involving a 16 year old girl. Oh my God. Since then, a few citations for drunk and disorderly. But it looks like he and a friend got busted for a dogfighting operation and charged with animal cruelty and racketeering. I don't understand how Omar could fall for someone like him. He must have been a pretty charming guy to get through life. But on paper, He's a depraved monster. And there's one more thing, which might explain a lot. He owned your building. Well, he called it before the bank foreclosed, and you... It was his store. Arms and steel. I remember the old owners. Bullies. They scared away customers and ran that business into the ground. I gotta talk to Amara. No, Miss Colwell. Be careful. He'll be especially dangerous if he feels cornered. Thank you. Unbutton. Unbutton one more. No, I told you that last one was enough. Come on. Please, just, you can leave your bra on. Just undo a couple more buttons, please. Come on, you're so hot. <laughs> Amara? I gotta go. Open up. Amara? Oh, jeez, what's the big emergency? You were just talking to him, weren't you? It's none of your business. Amara, honey... You cannot do this. I checked up on Shane, and he has a criminal record. You don't know him at all. He's a good person. You cannot. You don't control my life. If your father was here. Well, he's not. 
If you see him again, I will call the police. I hate you. Listen, there's been a break-in at the gallery. Mom, I'm at school. I'm not really supposed to talk on the phone. Okay, this is an emergency, Amara. All of your father's paintings have been stolen. What? They're all gone. I just talked to the police. I thought you had, like, a security system. Wh whoever stole the paintings, they, they broke in from the back. So, do the police know who did it? They're looking into it now, but I mean, there's a pretty obvious suspect. I knew you were going to blame him. He has a police record, and he's 13 years older than you. Dad was 14 years older than you when you guys met. Oh, Amara, that was different. Come on. You're not thinking clearly. Please just promise me you won't talk to Shane. Whatever. You can't call me during school hours. Amara. Amara. Hey, I came as quick as I could. Uh, the video's here. Okay. You okay? Oh, my gosh. Wait, stop it, stop it. Oh, my gosh. See if you can see his face here. And him? Mm Hey. What's wrong? Do you know what happened to my dad's paintings? No, what happened? You didn't move them or borrow them or anything? Of course not. I mean it, Shane. You have to tell me if you know what happened to the paintings. My mom is going crazy. Look, Mariah, your mother is under a lot of pressure right now. I know how hard it is to get a business going. You can't expect her to be perfect, especially when she thinks you're in trouble. She's like totally paranoid. She says she loves me, but it feels more like control. She won't even give you a chance. Yeah, well, maybe we can fix that. Why don't you start at the beginning and tell me everything that's going on? Okay. It's nice to finally meet you, Mrs. Caldwell. Sorry we Let got her go. Mom! Wrong foot. I'm not a hostage. Going to see Shane was my idea. You don't have the full story. He isn't dangerous. The full story? Did he tell you he got kicked out of the army for what he did to a teenage girl? Oh, and how did you hear that, huh? From Paul? From Paul's hired gun? You really think he's such a saint, don't you? You believe every word he says. More than I trust you. You know, I get it. I'm older than Amara, and yeah, I've made some mistakes in my life. I don't claim to be perfect. I just wish she would judge me for who I am today. Get out of my gallery. Mom, at least listen to him. If you don't trust me, at least let me earn your trust. Okay, fair is fair. Give me one reason why I wouldn't call the cops on you right this second. Because I can help you find your lost paintings. Chances are they're still in town, and I know this town like the back of my hand. I grew up here. And the fact that I used to know some outlaws, they come in handy. I'm not making a deal with you. I'm just offering my help as a sign of goodwill. Give me 48 hours, and I'll find your paintings. Get out of my gallery and stay away from my daughter. 48 hours. You'll see. You're wrong about him. I got the paintings. All of them. <laughs> I wish. I could have seen the look on her face when she went walking into that Hampton gallery. <laughs> yeah, I need him back. What now? The paintings. Dallas, she's not an idiot. She's on to us. So take them out back in the park. They're worth more than that. So 
you're gonna become some partners in some rich lady's art gallery? Plan was to bleed her dry. The plan was to balance the scales so that we ain't always struggling. And once we send her the shredded remains of one of those overpriced paintings, she's gonna pay us cash money to save the rest of them. That's how this works. The cops are involved now. Sooner or later, it's gonna track back here. Relax, we've got all the leverage. You can't have an art gallery without art, right? It was our store, man. Don't you want payback? If I can win her trust, I can win her daughter. <laughs> Dream on. That little princess is never gonna end up with a guy like you. It's already happening. Damn it, Shane! You gotta stay away from these little girls, man. These teenage girls. They're just too much trouble. You keep making these same mistakes again and again. Just break the pattern. Break the pattern, yeah. It's good advice. I think I'm ready for something a little different. Hey, sweetie. I'm so glad you're home. Look, we need to talk. Are you gonna apologize? For what? Amara! Hello? Diane Coldwell. I'm here to see Detective Harris. an anonymous tip about your stolen pages. Mm -hmm. Watch your step. Mm -hmm. When we came to check it out, we found the suspect dead of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot. Now, Miss Caldwell, I'm gonna ask you to take a look at the body to ID it. Have you ever... No? no? Okay, that's okay. <laughs> All right, we just need to know if it's the guy, okay? Is this the man who attacked you? I think so. I have videos, but I've never ID'd him. His name was Dallas Wayne Conway. He's one of the fellows who used to own your building. That's why I was so fixated on your gallery. We knew him pretty well. Drugs, petty crime, bar fights. Some people thought he was mixed up in the disappearance of Lacey Travers. This ending isn't out of tune with the rest of his life. Still an awful waste. At least it answers a few questions. What do you mean? Follow me. My paintings, I can't believe it. Does it look like they're all there? I'll have to do an inventory, but yeah. Mr. Conroy knew how to sneak in and out of your building. Guess he figured it'd be a pretty easy robbery. Art theft seems a little out of his league, but he was a pretty desperate guy. You need to find his partner. Shane Burrow. He's dating my daughter. I think he's behind everything. It just doesn't feel right. We're gonna find Shane Barrow and bring him in for questioning. I don't want you to worry. My daughter's only 16. If Shane is responsible for this, he won't get far. Trust me. Shane didn't attack you. Shane didn't steal the paintings. No, it was his partner. And now he's dead, Amara. Who else could have done it? What about Paul? Paul? This has nothing to do with him. Are you really that blind, Mom? Okay, fine. Shane used to be a bad boy, but he's changed. What if the real creep is Mr. Nice Guy? Amara. When somebody vandalized your car, Paul was right there to help. And he saved you from the fire and really looked like a hero. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? It wasn't like that. Don't you think it's weird that he got his phones? He knows all about your new security, knows where all the cameras are. 
probably knows how to get all your passwords and codes. Did Shane come up with this little theory? I have eyes, Mom. Everything you think you know about Shane comes from Paul's private investigator. Did you ever do a background check on Paul? You're getting off track. Can you say for absolute certain that he had nothing to do with stealing the paintings? I'll stay away from Shane if you stay away from Paul. Oh, we're closed. So I get all your paintings back and you thank me by sending the cops after me. You need to stay away from my daughter. I have been very respectful to your daughter. Okay, instead of thinking about all the things I've done in the past, maybe you should focus on all the good I can do for Amara. She's 16. It's not gonna happen. Mrs. Caldwell, your daughter and I are in love. Now I'm trying to turn over a new leaf here and start a better life. Are you going to give me a fair chance? Or are you going to stand in my way? Is there a problem here? I think it's time to activate the GPS tracker and maybe block his calls. see you. I think my mom blocked your number. I can't call you or text you or anything. Yeah, your mom's got some trust issues. Hey, I found the guy who stole her paintings just like I said I would. You have no idea what those paintings mean to us. Thank you. But my mom thinks you killed him. Oh, it wasn't like that. Okay, he shot himself. You have to believe me. He was my friend, but he was in a very dark place. The cops want to talk to you. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I've got a record, which means the cops will harass me for the rest of my life. Just talk to them and clear it up, or maybe I can talk to my mom again. We're past that, okay? It's time for us to be together, okay? Get in the truck. My mom wants me to come home. Amara, destiny is happening right here and right now. I can't ignore it anymore. I am in love with you. I'm in love with you, too. But this is real trouble. Everything that's happened, my mom, the cops... It... If we're going to be together, you have to clear it up. That's exactly what I intend to do, but with everybody turning against me, I at least need to know that you believe in me, okay? I can't do this alone. Please come with me. Or I can just go. I'll go, and you'll never see me again, and you'll never have to worry about any of this. That's my girl. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Beautiful painting. Thanks. The grand opening's on Friday. I wish I had better news. I wanted to come talk to you directly in person because... He hasn't turned up. We're still keeping an eye out. He has to come back to his apartment eventually, unless he's already fled the area. Can I ask you, the restaurant next door, the owner, Paul, does he have a record for anything? You think he might be involved? No. I don't know. When my car got smashed, he had it towed to Hank's auto body, and is that just a coincidence? I, mean, I don't know. I don't know who to trust. We'll check it out. In the meantime, if you're wondering who to trust, keep trusting yourself. We'll be in touch. I can withdraw. So get all 400. Do it. Now. Okay. Come on, we need fast cash. It's an emergency.
plan is working. Almost free. Uh, I still don't understand what the plan is. <sighs> Shane. Cheers. Drink into the future. Can you at least tell me where we're going? I still haven't quite figured that out yet. Maybe just head to Mexico, figure it out from there. Mexico? That's crazy. <laughs> tell me what happened to Lacey. <laughs> you drunk already? You got a loose tongue saying all the things you've been too scared to say before. Did you have anything to do with it? I did not. My friend did. Your friend, the one who stole the paintings? Dallas. I own the store with him, grew up with him. He was like a brother to me, which is why it was so hard to see it. See what? I couldn't see how evil he was. Dallas didn't think you were worth changing plans for. He only had bad thoughts. So you murdered him? I stopped him. I used to feel so guilty about the things I did with him, but that was all him. That wasn't my fault. Now I have a new life. A clean life. With you. I don't want a new life. Oh, that's because you haven't seen it yet. We'll only get a small fortune and find ourselves a slice of paradise. I gotta get back home to my mom. Oh, nope. We can't do that. We're already in the wind. Just give me my phone. I just need no, a... No, no. Your mom is tracking your phone. We can't have that. I want my phone. Did you put something in my drink? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I sure did. You're a handful of moron, but you sure ain't stupid. Alright, just a little something to help you sleep. I, I don't wanna. Everything's gonna be different now. to calm down. I can't calm down. This notification says she withdrew most of her money. She would never do that, and she never turns her phone off. I think it's time to call the police. Amara? I have your daughter. Contact the police, and she dies. If you try to mess with me, she dies. Please, all I care about is keeping her safe. Just tell me what you want. I want the same thing everyone wants. Money. So, start gathering all the cash you can, and if it's enough, she might just live to see the sunrise. Okay, okay, what, whatever you want, just please let me talk to Amara. I'll contact you with further instructions. Jennifer Dulos was reported missing. Based on the true story. We need to find her husband. Whatever happened to Jennifer, he is behind it. They shook the nation. People make all sorts of horrible assumptions. Imagine you're in one of your daddy's paintings. My store. Arms and steel. Make every man feel like a warrior. You know what I'm talking about. It was supposed to be my ticket out of here. I could have had franchises across the state, across the country, really. They say small business ownership is the American dream. But you miss one little payment. 
And it's like the bank owns you. And they just start squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. And they don't stop until you're penniless. You can't play by the rules. You got to make your own luck. So for once, I've decided to make the system work for me. Not too much longer. And I think we'll be free. So then why am I tied up? Oh, that is for your own protection. See, the plan is to be free, but we're not there yet. I gotta go tie up some loose ends. No loose ends. That's what Dallas taught me. But I have to know if I can trust you. Like real trust. Like life or death trust. Can I trust you, Amara? Of course. I love you, Shane. Okay. I love you, too. Okay. So then... Doesn't that mean you should untie me? So that we can be together? You're a beautiful young lady. You know that, right? If I untie you and you do something stupid, I'm gonna have to make you ugly. You understand? Call the police? Yeah, of course, right? I don't know, I just I just want to get home. Well, wanna hear some crazy news? Okay. Jake dumped Heather. Probably got tired of getting ordered around, I guess. It's funny how things work. Now you can try to snag him as your boyfriend. groceries for? Oh, just 
shopping. Becky, where are we going? Uh, my friend lives up here. We can call the cops from this place. Why don't we just use your cell phone? No service up here. You know how the mountains are. Yeah, sorry. I have one question. Sure. Why do you have my brother's boots? Becky, no. Becky, please. Please don't. Becky, please, you can't do it. Becky! GPS tracker's back on. What? She's coming down from the mountains toward town. She's on the move. We've got to find her. We've got to meet Look, up with her. Stay here. I can handle this. No, nothing's going to stop me from getting my daughter back. You go. I'll stay here. It looks like she's up ahead. old dog fighting pit. All right, look, stay in the car. I can take care of this, all right? Look at me. Stay in the car. If anything goes wrong, call 911, all right? I'm not going to let your daughter slip away. Is what you do legal? Okay. 
Do you have a minute? Throwing Amara's phone in the back of this truck was quick thinking. We're tracking it now. It's like they're headed up into the mountains. We'll find your daughter. You should go home and wait. I'm not going home without Amara. I'll be at the gallery. I'm going to do everything I can possibly do to keep your daughter safe. Please just find her. so that an honest guy like me can't make a living. Okay, please, I, I want to help you. You do? You know, <laughs> the night you won the foreclosure auction, I got your address, and I paid you a visit. I watched you sleep. I thought about hurting you, touching you, but I didn't. And then I watched Amara sleep. No, no, no. You see, I killed my best friend because he wanted to hurt Laura. I think that makes me a good man, yes, right? Yes, yes, you're a good man. I'm a good man? Oh, yes. you call the cops on me, didn't you? You did. You would ruin me just to save your stupid little paintings. <laughs> but you're not going to take anything else from me. No, you owe me. And if you really love Amara right here, you're going to... No, 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 you will start making some sacrifices. Please, just stop. I don't want to pay you. I'll do anything. Just You'll stop. You'll pay me? Yes. Sure. Yes. Now. This is the guy you were counting on to save the day? Oh, Diane, I hope you're not going to disappoint me. Oh, look, he's getting up. This will be fun. Come on. Come oh. on. Apology. Turns out I was dating the wrong girl. She wasn't very kind to you. Oh well. We didn't have anything in common. So what do you know about art? I know that you have a lot to teach me. <laughs> <laughs> 